Welcome to a very special Veterans Day uh, Art Hack and Daughters. Today we're going to be talking about a series of weapons, but the first one goes out to a friend of mine, uh, Tyler Stanton, who's in Iraq until next year. Uh, he's up there with the Kurds. This is his P-38 that he has loaned me uh, for his duration time in the sandbox. Uh, of course, he got a reproduction holster for it. Uh, we do World War II reenacting, so he sometimes uses this. Um, the Walther P-38 is probably one of the iconic German handguns of World War II. It replaced the other iconic handgun of both World Wars, which is the German Luger. Um, this particular uh, P-38 is a uh, Walther one made. Uh, it has fires from an eight round magazine. This gun was ahead of its time. As you notice, it's kind of got the, the the barrel and side separation, like kind of like the Berettas do now, uh, like the Beretta 34 does. Uh, we'll review that later today. Uh, it is decocker. This pistol is single action and double action. So, uh, and it has decocker. Very, as you can see, the when you decock it, well, when you uh, cock it, you know, it goes back to single action. The decocker keeps the trigger in the single stage motion until you release the safety. Then it goes back to double, uh, double stage, double trigger. So, anyway. Uh, and then it fires. It's got a good hefty 11, 10 pound double action trigger pull. Single action. It is nowhere near. It is very crisp. This is how much take up you have. So as soon as you get past the take up, you fire it. Very crisp. Probably four pounds, maybe five. Uh, no, I'm just guessing. This gun's in pretty good shape. It's got some decent hand grips on it. It's got a lanyard on it. Like all European pistols, they're all about the heel release. Um, this pistol served past World War II up with the West German uh, police which it was, and military, which it was called the P1, um, before it was later replaced in service. These are still turning up in Iraq today. This one did not. This is on the U.S. market here, surplus. Uh, as you can see, there's still got some of its built focus. There it goes. It's often marks right there. This gun's in decent shape. Really good looking gun here. Uh, I'm not going to break it down. It goes it'll break down too easy. There's your P38 there, but it'll catch. Yep, there's your P38. Excellent handgun for the time. Uh, this gun is so advanced that you'll see we see a lot of the same features that it has today on all the handguns that are with a hammer and um, double cock sig still has some of those. Uh, Beretta is even still doing the same type of barrel uh, as that, where the slide is cut. This gun shoots great. Uh, the grips are definitely kind of thick. Um, I have to cycle. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can get different grips for it. To, it's not as thick, but uh, this gun shoots great. I've shot it before. Um, the single double action was definitely a, a game changer in World War II. The Colts were still in single action mode. The only thing this thing doesn't stop this from being a single or, or, or a modern handgun today is that it fires from a single stack magazine. If it had a double stack magazine uh, with the same type of grip contour, it I, it'd still be used today. The uh, its predecessor, post-war version, is called the P1. Some of those were rebuilt, but uh, I want to say Happy Veterans Day to Tyler Stanton. Uh, be safe, and we'll see you next year when you get to come home and your p38 will be fine we'll catch you later